to the Cape Chronicle, I'm Alex Gasser. The Discovery Playhouse in Cape Girardeau is where fun and learning come full circle. Their executive director, Krista Weber, is with us today. Krista, welcome. Thank you, thank you for having me. Yeah, so Krista, tell us a little bit about Discovery Playhouse, and I know you're new at the Discovery Playhouse, but you've been making some wonderful changes there. So Discovery Playhouse is located in downtown Cape Girardeau. It's a children's museum where kiddos can come and learn, learn through play, pretend play, and experience things that they, there's really no Nowhere else in Southeast Missouri to experience. We have over 30 exhibits where kiddos can pretend a grocery shop, go to the bank, um, an aviation station where they can get into a plane and pretend they're flying it. We have a stage for the fine arts where kids can sing and dance. There's so much that we offer, including party rentals and different activities and events coming up. Oh, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. And you've been there how long? Since July 5th. July 5th. Yes. Oh my gosh. Well, welcome. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. It's been a great change. Um, I had spent 19 years in public education before taking on this position. So it was a really hard decision to leave public education. I spent um, the majority of my career with special education, but this has just really renewed a sense of joy in me watching kids and families play and learn together. Awesome. Mm -hmm. um, and I know you guys have been making a lot of updates because I follow you guys on <laughs> Facebook and I see that yes. you guys are doing a lot mm -hmm. of cool things there. So mm -hmm. what are some of the exciting things that are happening? So coming soon is an actual flight simulator where kiddos can actually feel like they're in the cockpit um, controlling the different controls and flying a plane. That was actually created by SEMO students last year. So we have that. Um, we have done lots of painting and just repairing the things that we had. The grocery store finally has a working cash register. We're getting a model train set up. Um, the Southeast Missouri Model Train Club has come and is donating their time where the kids are going to be able to like manipulate the switches and make the train go forward, make the train go backwards. Um, we have a new critter zone, which has been there, but we've enhanced it so you can see lots of different reptiles that you would not see regularly. Um, just more and more coming every day. We're trying to enhance and change something. We have a, a thing called a beam, which is like a projection and a light, and the kids can engage in stomping things and moving around, and that was just installed this past week, so it's ready and up and running for the kids, too. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. And so what are kind of like the ages for kids to come to your space? So I would say all ages. We see one-year-olds in polywog climbing and exploring all the way up to 12-year-olds upstairs on the stage um, touching the reptiles you know climbing in the plane I have three daughters myself I have a 15 year old a 13 year old and an 8 year old the 8 year old runs the place she thinks that she <laughs> knows how to do all of all of the activities my 13 year old really likes to go and just she still wants to like kind of be involved you know you could tell but she's like too grown up but she loves to like set up art activities in our beautiful art studio our art studio has natural light and it looks right over Broadway so she loves like coming up with activities and my 15 year old she just likes to go around and organize like make sure everything's cleaned up and the babies are put away and so they both they all three find something they love to do there still at the age of 15 so oh, awesome mm -hmm. and so is it daily admission do you guys have membership yes, yes. or so we have have daily admission which is eight dollars per person but we just started something in November after school hours on Tuesday Wednesday Thursday from three to five you can get in for half price so four dollars instead of eight dollars we also support um, we are a part of museums for all which allows families that um, have have access to SNAP and EBT, they can get into the museum for $2 a person. Okay. And then we also have memberships and different levels of memberships. If you're a grandparent, if you just have one kiddo, if you're a large family, there's different memberships and you, all of that can be found on our website. Awesome. Um, and I'm assuming you guys are always in need of uh, employees or people <laughs> to help uh, we facilitate are actually, your learning. We are so blessed. We are fully staffed. Congrats. We, I know, I know. <laughs> we, um, have, we have high school kids, college kids. We have stay-at-home moms. We are just so lucky with the wide um, interest level of our staff. But we also started a volunteer program this oh, year. Okay. And you can find that information on our website. We had several SEMO students that were helping us um, in the fall semester for different, for different classes anybody can volunteer so if you are interested or need volunteer hours I would highly encourage you to go on our website and apply. 
Okay, awesome. Mm -hmm. And I know you've done some really cool things um, with the university on planning exhibits. Yes. Is that something you yes. want to explain a little so, bit more about? Um, there is a particular class at SEMO, an education class where the kiddos can actually, not the kiddos, they're college kids. I'm used to kids. <laughs> You're the used college, to kiddos. Yes. I get it. I get the, it. The students can plan an exhibit. We say they have a budget of $5,000. We then have to find the money and, and raise because we are a non-for-profit. But they basically come up with a new idea for an exhibit and then they present it to myself and the board and it's like a shark tank. And then we select one of those and then try to make that exhibit come to life within a year. Oh, so wow. So coming up, we have a CMO class that's getting ready to present some new ideas and that is in the beginning of December. So we'll get to hear some new ideas and figure out other ways that's to enhance awesome. our museum. That's really mm -hmm. awesome. And I know you guys have been having a lot of events recently too, you <laughs> yeah. guys. So, um, so what are some of, some of those events that might be coming up in um, you know, late December or um, early 2024 that okay. we can look forward well, to? Well, this Friday, uh, WSIU and PBIS are going to be visiting, and the PBS van is going to be there for the kids from 3 to 5. Uh, PBS will be there earlier, WSIU 11 to 1, to film some new commercials. So that's this Friday. Um, we just, you can visit outside, or if you want to come in and, and be a part, it's just general admission. And then we have an event, 1210, which is a gingerbread house build. So that is sponsored by Kara Nesbitt, Edge Realty, and... Um, Megan Fraley, she's with Bank of Missouri, so you can come build a gingerbread house. All of this information can be found on our website. 1213 is a big Taylor Swift event. We have 99 people signed up for that. Oh, it's a wow. kid-friendly event. We're excited about that. And then also, finally, Santa. Santa's going to be visiting 1215, and the kids can come and get their picture with Santa, Christmas cookies, and some arts and crafts. Oh, awesome. Mm -hmm. And then I think you guys have a, if I remember correctly, a partnership with, um, oh, you're going to have to remind me, was something with birthday parties? Is there... We do have, you can have birthday parties at um, Discovery Playhouse. You can also, you can go under the events tab and scroll down and find all the information about birthday parties. We also are starting, um, right now you can pair up with Fairy Tale Essence. That's and what book I was a thinking princess of, yeah. <laughs> or a prince. Um, so that is absolutely an option, but we're adding on an option. Oftentimes families come and they bring in their own food, but we're going to be pairing up with emos after the first of the year. And part of their party package, they can also um, add on some food and beverages for the party. So the parents, it's a no fuss situation. They can do everything online and everything will be there for them for the time of the party. So it makes it very convenient for families, busy families like mine. Yeah, mm -hmm. awesome. So is there anything else that you want to share? with the community about Discovery Playhouse? I think the most important thing is if you haven't been in a while, you absolutely need to come back and check out all of the exhibits. We just recently had a uh, ribbon cutting and some of the members that came didn't even know we had a second floor. So I think it's super important just to come see what we have. Plus, like just, just be a part and, and support the non-for-profit. We are doing such great things for the community. Um, we're a non-for-profit, but we try very hard to donate and raise money to all um, different, different organizations that reach out to us. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.